Thank you, Frat. This place does not have long left, I fear. We ought to get to safety, though I have to wonder if anywhere is safe now. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. We have reached our destination, yet I fear our strength is nearly spent. We are already here. Let us delve as far as we are able. Fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now oh, and use them when the need arises.
No longer do I feel the probing gaze of the watching one. Is this your doing, newest of the arisen? I am he who brought the dragon low, and o'er its bones raised the proud kingdom of Kirkland. Despite the magnitude of my feet, I was dissatisfied and sought ere greater heights, till at last I ruled the world entire. Thus did I come to know. The being by whose many eyes and ears no one or thing in this world goes unobserved. As to the purpose with which they watch, I know not. Yet I did divine one thing. This world has lain neath the watching one's unwavering gaze ere the dawn of its history. Dubbed the Mad Sovereign, and by the hand of the new arisen, consigned to this place forever. Yes, I can only assume that you have achieved what I could not. How else to explain the changes I sense in the world? Ah, what bitter gall that I cannot witness the outcome for myself. I see you have returned, Arisen One. The Mad Sovereign has called, and so we answer. If you would save the people of this world from ruin, lead them here. For this place may chance to escape the coming destruction. Making this a place of refuge is a splendid idea. It is safe, and apt to become quite cheerful once the crowd settles in. We too once bore the mantle of Arisen, though no longer. As we walked our respective paths, each of us lost the incomparable strength of will that made us Arisen. One in despair of the dragon's boundless might. One in pursuit of vengeance's cold comfort. And one for fear of what fate held in store. Yet you bear it still, Arisen. Hold fast to your strength of will, for it shall doubtless lend you the strength you will need to spare this world its end. The Mad Sovereign's power yet girds this place. It could prove the last bastion of hope for the people of this world. Alas, it will not hold forever. The coming destruction can only truly be forestalled lift his sundered at its heart. Since times of eld, 
dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself le remember. Draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Then I bid ye farewell. Nothing caught your eye? Oh, that's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. I return safe and sound, and I dare say, wiser for my travels. I've a feeling fortune shall favor us this day. Off we go then. A new day, a new perspective. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all. Remember. Draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well.
Then I bid ye farewell. There's something odd about the passage of time here. Indeed. What we once held to be true is now changed. Is there no way to return things to how they were before? materials, polish our tools. With Brocker's teachings under my belt, so ask away. My hammer is at your disposal. Sir. Pleasure doing business with you.
Welcome and well met. Do come again. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. You've pushed your luck too far. I'll not take that from you. Pray calm yourselves, good people. I will have none of this squabbling. So, Manella, you don't understand. This scoundrel's the one who started it. No, you don't understand. This is no time for the people of Batal to be quarreling amongst themselves. We shan't weather this calamity unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. Ah, Sir Arisen. You are returned, I see. With the world in such disarray, I could not stand to be away from my homeland. Thus did I return, to render what aid I may. I maintain order as best I can, but for every fire I extinguish, it seems three more are incited behind my back. But enough of my woes. What brings you here? You wish us to evacuate? Mayhap the idea merits some thought. After all, if we sit on our haunches, it is likely only a matter of time before we share the fate of Mel. Alas, the people of Batal are far from united in purpose at present. Should we proceed, unheeding of their divisions, I fear that our efforts would come undone ere long. With every soul at their wit's end, 
conflict is like to spark at the slightest provocation. As such, before we take any measures, I would have you walk amongst the people, Sir Arisen. Behold their plight with your own eyes. And should you encounter any discord, pray do aught you can to resolve the people's quarrels and assuage their fears. Such efforts will doubtless allow the evacuation to proceed all the more smoothly. As for me, my work here is far from done. Let us part ways for now, and reconvene when you have accomplished all you can. Flared tempers are understandable, given the circumstances. Let us aid in mediating the quarrels arising in Bat Batal. Tis as you say. As for me. How dare you! You've pushed your luck too far! Might not the seafloor shrine provide a place of refuge? Ah! You're just riding on your father's coattails! You slander my honor, sir! I demand a duel. Steal. This is no business of yours. Be gone! Now, now, Nara, let's not be too hasty. If we are to duel, we ought to have a witness. Otherwise, who's to say the victor fought with honor? Aye, true enough. Without a witness, either of us could simply kill the other, then disavow the use of any underhandedness. Well, Sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take this scoundrel to task? You have my gratitude, sir. Let us delay no further. Come, Scario, prepare yourself. Have at you! <laughs> I admit it. I underestimated your skill. The loss is mine. Nay, it was I who underestimated you. I'd thought to score an easy victory, but you fought fair and capably. We owe you a debt, sir. Tis on your account that we've seen some sense. Were it not for your timely appearance, I'd wager this nonsense might have cost one of us their life. Indeed. Better to hone our respective skills than take up arms against petty slights, I say. Seems some things can only be resolved by crossing blades. But I doubt they'll quarrel again after this. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. Oi! I saw it first. <laughs> Trust a flea-ridden hide. To take it all for himself. Uh, why must I share with a fangless one? This is no more your food than Batal is your land. You there! You couldn't have come at a better time. Put this upstart in his place for me, won't you? Go on, lay into him. If that's what you think, why don't you mind your own bit? Oh, clear off. Stop this, father! Thank you, sir. I'll be sure to share it. You mean with me? For true? Thanks. I'm half starved. Oi, leave my kid alone. You're not some child snatcher, are you? Wait. You shared your food with them. I thank you, sir. As for you, Nomos, 
would seem we were both but looking out for our children, hey? Aye. Mayhap we're not so different after all. And we've both our children fed. We've no reason to quarrel. The desire to protect one's kin transcends race and culture. It just goes to show we are none of us so different. A result to be proud of. I've had well enough of your nitpicking. I reckon the world would be better off without you. Oi, you! Don't go poking your nose in our business. This is between us. Aye, leave off or we'll make you. This one's got thick skin. You're telling me? I don't think I've got another punch left in me. Bah. I can't stomach more quarreling after this. It's drained the fight right out of me. Too right. I've clean forgotten what we were arguing about to begin with, if I'm honest. Their tempers do appear to be quelled, but I hope you aren't injured, Master. The citizenry speak highly of your deeds, Sir Arisen. It seems you have made rather an impact. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together if they are to survive this calamity. We shall see the fruits of your labors when the time comes to evacuate. Methinks we can expect little opposition to the announcement. Pray, return to Empress Nadinia and apprise her of your achievements. I must remain here to ensure no further squabbles arise. Heavens only know how many lives you have saved this day, Sir Arisen. I hope you will accept this humble reward for your efforts. What say we report back to Empress Nadinia? Her Majesty ought to be willing to commence the evacuation now. Very well, if I must. One arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Her Majesty has begun her supplications. None may see her ere they conclude. Stay your hand, Vera. This one may pass. Come hither. We would speak with you. One of our ministers informs us that you have been espied in the city, resolving the people's troubles. You have our gratitude, for it seems your efforts have served to remind the people of this nation of their common purpose. We would present you with this gift, as a small token of our esteem, and wish you good fortune on your journey, wheresoe'er it may take you. Pray excuse the interruption, your majesty, but I fear time is upon us, I would see you prepared for the road ahead. Indeed. Forgive us, but we must take our leave. Farewell. Back Batal and the rest town are now safely evacuated. I am certain we can rel- Huzzah! The 
The so-called Forbidden Magic Research Lab appears to have been constructed rather recently. That does seem to be the case. What's more, only a select few are granted entry. It is all very secretive. I wonder what the citizenry make of it. Go no further. This gloom has an eerie cast. I suspect you and I are birds of a feather. I require your assistance. Will you oblige me? Yes, yes, very fine. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? There are many who still await our aid. We ought to choose our next destination based on the movements of the clouds.
I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. One of our number is unconscious. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but have you always pursued your current vocation in your service to the Arisen? Yes, yes, very fine. Will this suffice? Well done, Master.
took nary a moment. Now that we're here, what did you have in mind, Arisen? Really, now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the Arisen we serve here. Very well. Back to your side I go. Then. That changes things. Me? Now, this hardly bears saying, but... Don't you dare try to take anything without paying for it first. Always a pleasure. Off 
After we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot, I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. Remain level headed. Let's do it.